Yeah, it's summertime. Finally, sun shines out. It's above 85. Uh, we're uh, in the middle of recruiting season again, and uh, with that new calendar, and um, it's uh, it's busier than ever. Um, I think that uh, that's the one thing that uh, this new model has uh, provided us is with uh, uh, the ability to work every day in June, which is great. Uh, and uh, we're doing that. Uh, got a uh, uh, busy week and, and had a busy month with, with young guys on campus and uh, coming to visit us, along with uh, being able to work our guys out. So um, in a time of year that uh, most people consider our downtime is, uh, has not been that, but it's been exciting. I'm, I think that uh, I'm very much like every other coach in the country. He, he feels great about uh, his team and he feels great about uh, what they're doing uh, this time of year. Uh, we're very, very blessed as we have a great strength coach and, and Adam Fletcher and to see the improvement uh, that uh, the guys have made since, uh, since our last game has been exciting. And uh, that's what uh, uh, we strive to do is here, do here is help our guys become better, uh, not just on the court, but athletically. And uh, a lot of that was, uh, was needed. I said after the season, the, uh, the best thing that this team needed was an off season. And, and uh, we're in the middle of that and uh, uh, it's exciting. We're going uh, uh, not quite four hours. We have four hours a week. Uh, we haven't been utilizing that on purpose uh, as we have the Italy trip uh, that goes into August. And so we're trying to keep guys fresh and uh, still get a lot of work done. And, and uh, we're also toying with some different, uh, uh, some different things at both ends of the court. So that'll be a uh, uh, great opportunity as we leave for Italy at, uh, at the end of uh, the summer session. Uh, we don't have everybody here. Uh, we're still, uh, Benjamin graduated last night. Uh, that's a uh, downside to late graduations. And Bernard uh, had just graduated uh, the week before. So uh, as, as late graduations happen in June and then getting everything through the Eligibility Center and Clearinghouse, it takes some time. So uh, we will uh, uh, keep everybody posted on their uh, arrival situation. But. Uh, uh, but yeah, we're, we're excited about Italy. We're excited about uh, the 10 days of practice that lead into that. And uh, that should be a, uh, uh, an exciting and fun trip. And there's an unbelievable educational piece to that. And uh, as well, it'll be laid back. It's a great uh, uh, bonding uh, team-wise. We'll, we'll have a lot of fun and, and coaches are, are uh, I'm gonna let uh, the assistant coaches uh, coach over there will play either three or four games yet still to to be determined, but uh, uh, exciting times and and uh, I think we're uh, We're in a great place right now. These new things that you're toying with. What are you toying with at the defensive end of the court? Oh, I think I think there's all kinds of situations as, as to handle ball screens maybe a little bit different uh, I think we've been we've, we've, we've messed around with uh, uh, you know some different things with with big lineups and and how we uh, handle some coverages. You know minor technical stuff. You could possibly uh, we're messing around with uh, uh, you know possibly some some different zone looks than, than we've played in the past. So uh, it's a great time to experiment and see what uh, uh, what it looks like. I know it's early, Brad, but just having the presence of Kofi Coburn, how, how does it change what you guys are and what you do? Well, I mean, we're going to look really good in the airport. <laughs> I, you know, I think his presence at, uh, you know, he's seven foot. He, he weighed in at 299 pounds. He's less than 14% uh, body fat, which is very, very good. Uh, and for him, it's it's just uh, continuing to gain strength. Uh, it's it's conditioning, uh, you know, at the highest level. That's what uh, Fletch is, is phenomenal at. And, and um, you know, he's a guy that, um, willing, willing listener and, and learner. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of, of him picking up uh, what we do and then getting through uh, the first, uh, you know, the first month of Fletch when he's, when he's never really lifted before. So it's an adjustment period and, and I think it's still very, very early to uh, throw out too many 
expectations, but it's uh, it, it's nice to be able to uh, to see that size and athleticism on the court. Josh Backboards and rims intact still. Uh, yeah, I would venture to say there's a good chance they probably won't be for uh, the duration. But uh, from what I've seen through the first uh, few workouts, he puts a hurting on him. So, uh, but that's uh, I hope that's a problem we have. I mean, they haven't had a lot of time together yet. But how have you maybe seen you know, him matching up and pairing with Georgie as you know front court? Oh, I think together. yeah, I think that's one of the things that we're excited about is to see is to see that duo together. I you know I think we. We saw a, a very limited uh, uh, Georgie uh, in terms of, of, of Georgie's ball handling. I think you know a young man played all really most all all season with a thumb injury, and uh, you know the young guys, you know that young man's in here every morning at 6 a.m. He's getting shots up. He's a proven sh proven shooter uh, that that shot a really bad percentage last year. Uh, by his standard, and, and he's capable of that. He's a very good passer, and uh, you know. Yet there's some defensive adjustments, and we sure, to, sure the heck don't want to forget about Georgie's true strength, which is uh, in the post up. I mean, the area. He's a he's a he's a ton to handle there as well. So, uh, yeah, it's one of the one of the things we're working uh, we're working at, we're looking at, uh, and that's what'll make uh, you know Italy pretty meaningful is being able to. Uh, Throw those two out there together. Benjamin Bossman's Verdonk. What do you call him, first of all? And two, what's the story behind finding him and why you guys liked him so much? Well, I think the one thing we've been, I, I, I don't know what we're going to call him right now. <laughs> I'm going to call him Benjamin until I figure out uh, that I can't pronounce that name if he's messing up. But no, I, you know, we've been looking for a guy that's, that's that size, uh, six, seven, six, eight. I think that's one of the, uh, uh, the things in this league that uh, a lot of the, a lot of the teams have had is, is size on the perimeter who can stretch uh, the floor. He's done that. His versatility. Uh, he's a, uh, he's a guy that can play in ball screens. He's a guy that uh, can set ball screens and pop. Uh, his versatility is, is is very good. And then you know physically, um, you know he's 225 pounds. He's got a body that's uh, uh, a little more mature than. Uh, uh, than some other guys, and, and, and that excites us. So we're uh, we're really looking forward to seeing his skill set with that size and, and how it fits in our system. Io came back with the unfinished business hashtag. How has he approached his first off season here? Well, he's done that with a vengeance. Um, I mean, there's very uh, uh, you're talking about a very very motivated young man. Uh, his um, uh, he didn't go home in May. He stayed here. Uh, was took a took a May class uh, has been uh, not just in two or three segments of, uh, of workouts uh, uh, a lot of times it's been three or four uh, you know and he's kind of adopted the motto that everybody works out once good players work out twice great ones get more than that and, and uh, Fletch has helped him in a lot of areas uh, through that time we see a, a, a guy that uh, uh, that physically has changed already and um, that's that's exciting. That will do nothing but enhance his game. And, and with that added strength comes confidence. So uh, he's been um, he's been nothing but exceptional in his uh, in, in, in this off season. What are you most about Taz and Allen coming back for you two and the improvements they made? Yeah, a lot of the same thing that, that Io's gone through. And, and we've seen guys that have gotten stronger, have gotten uh, much more comfortable. And, and you know the. Cliche I use it. Best thing about freshmen is they become sophomores. Is, is they gain confidence because it's not new anymore, and there's a there's a familiarity that is uh, that breeds confidence, and, and we're seeing that, and we're seeing uh, added strength in both of them, and, and better athleticism, and just uh, the the ability to translate the that to the court and their game. And then we're working on weaknesses as well. And, and so all those guys have gotten better in, in every aspect on and off.